Hey, this is Trisha Yearwood, and this is Thanksgiving Delivered with me and William Sonoma. My friends at William Sonoma and I came up with a way to actually ship your entire meal to you so you can enjoy the same food that I'm going to have on Thanksgiving Day in your own home. We're going to start with turkey because that actually is the star of the show. So I've got my Willie Bird turkey here, and my mom used the exotic spices of salt and pepper on her bird, so be generous. And then I got some vegetables here to stuff the bird with. So I use onions and I use celery and carrots and then butter. There are times to skimp on butter. Thanksgiving is not one of them. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I just tie the legs together because that just keeps everything inside. Now we cook the turkey and we're one step closer to Thanksgiving. So the turkey is ready. It's, I've got it on this beautiful platter and you can just serve it just like this. But if you wanna add a little bit of extra, I like to kind of grab what's in season and decorate. So now basically my turkey is ready and I can get to work on the sides. One of my favorite things on the Thanksgiving table is my grandma Lizzie's famous buttermilk cornbread dressing. This is tradition in our house. And I'm just gonna, I'm putting a little bit of uh, thyme over the top just for color and for garnish. And it's ready to serve, how easy is that? One of my other favorite dishes is sweet potato souffle. It comes in a heat and serve container. All you do is put it in the oven and bake it and it's gonna taste just like now, if you ask my husband, Garth, what the best food on the table is at Thanksgiving, he would say mashed potatoes. I'm gonna top mine with a little bit of melted butter, and I've just got some chopped up chives here. And you're not gonna have Thanksgiving without gravy, right? Gravy is great on the potatoes. It's already made for you. All you have to do is thaw it out, and then you just put it in a pot and whisk, and then make it your own by putting it in your favorite gravy dish. I grew up in that classic cranberry sauce, you know, the one in the can that has the little ridges when you take it out of the can. But my sister Beth brought this one Thanksgiving. It's a cranberry orange relish, and it really just took cranberry sauce to another level. Um, and this is my pecan pie recipe, and I added a little bit of a lemon twist to it, so it's lemon pecan pie. And I'm gonna just go in and cut a piece. And you can dollop with whatever you want. I use a little bit of fresh whipped cream. To find out more about this meal, how to prepare it, all the tips and tricks, go to williamsonoma.com. It's Thanksgiving delivered. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving.